factorize the following 27 minus 125 a cube minus 135 a plus 225 a cube and the other one that is 27 p cube minus 1 upon 216 minus 9 by 2 p square plus 1 upon 4 p this we will go and solve in this particular video hello friends myself Sunil Kumar Jadav principal of Sishisa Sarvajanik English High School standard 9 mathematics chapter number 2 polynomial here in this video we are going to solve question number 8 factorize each of the following from exercise 2.5 so let us begin factorize each of the following number 1 27 minus 125 a cube minus 135 a plus 225 a cube we'll try to convert into the factorized form you know for doing that what we'll do first of all we'll try to write it in the standard form so we should write its formula let us begin with 27 is a cube of 3 so i'll write it 3 whole cube 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 25 minus 1 2 5 is a cube of 5 we know that is 5a whole cube 3 cube is equal to 27 5 cube is equal to 1 2 5 and it is a cube if you will write in this format then i will you know the formula that is a x square sorry x cube minus y cube minus 3 into x y into bracket x plus y so we'll try to write in that format if it is possible to write then we can write it x minus y whole cube so this is first term i'll write it 3 into first term 3 into second term 5a into another bracket i will write it that is 3 minus 5a is it this a bottom let us check it and then verify and then we'll write the answer 3 cube is equal to 27 that we know 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 this minus sign 5 cube will be equal to 5 into 5 25 25 5 is a 1 2 5 into a cube minus this and this will multiply 3 3 is a 9 9 5 is a 45 a into 3 45 into 3 is equal to 135 into a so it is okay fine 45 into 5 is equal to 2 to 5 this is minus into minus will turns to plus 45 a multiply by 5 a so 45 into 5 2 to 5 a into a is a cube so it is in this particular format so we know it is like x cube minus y cube minus 3 into x into y into another bracket x minus y so what we should write for it we know as per this we can factorize and write it 3 minus this second term 5a whole cube if we'll write it this into another form that would be 3 minus 5a we'll write it three times 3 minus 5a and 3 minus 5a this three time will multiply then we'll get the answer 3 minus 5a whole cube so this is very simple i am giving you one sum in a homework that you have to solve that is the next one that is fourth 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square 64 is a cube of what you have to remember and you have to write it similar way 27 is a cube of what we already done so you have to think you have to convert in the formula that is x cube minus y cube minus 3 into x into y into bracket x minus y and then you have to write it in the format that x minus y whole cube so i hope you can solve this question this is given to you in the homework we will see question number five let us begin fifth one 27 p cube minus 1 upon 216 minus 9 by 2 p square plus 1 upon 4 p we need to convert this thing also in a similar way and we'll try to write it let us begin for this also we'll write in the similar way that is 27 is a cube of what we know it is the cube of 3 i'll write it 3 p whole cube minus 216 216 is a square of what that we know it is the square of remember i'm giving you time for two minutes to think about it what is that 216 i hope you got the answer 216 is a cube of cube of six. Oh yeah right it is cube of six so we should write it one upon six whole cube 
थ्री क्यूब ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू पी क्यूब वन इज अ क्यूब ऑफ वन इट सेल्फ सिक्स क्यूब सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इंटू सिक्स सिक्स इंटू सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स इंटू सिक्स टू वन सिक्स माइनस आई एल ट्राई टू राइट इन दैट फॉर्मेट थ्री इंटू फर्स्ट टर्म दैट इज थ्री पी इंटू नेक्स्ट टर्म दैट इज वन अपॉन सिक्स इंटू अनदर ब्रैकेट आई एल राइट इट द फर्स्ट टर्म दैट इज थ्री पी माइनस वन अपॉन सिक्स एंड लेट एस ट्राई टू सी वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस अबो टर्म और नॉट लेट एस बिग सी थ्री क्यूब ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू पी क्यूब ओके वन क्यूब वन अपॉन सिक्स क्यूब टू वन सिक्स इट इज ऑल्सो ओके दिस इज थ्री थ्री जो नाइन इंटू सिक्स एंड हियर यू कैन सी वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई अलॉन्ग विद दिस सो दैट इज दिस थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री बट हियर वंस विल कट इट थ्री टू ज सिक्स सो दिस वन थ्री कट हियर यू विल गेट इट टू थ्री इंटू थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन एंड हियर रिमेनिंग इज टू बिकॉज वन दिस थ्री एंड सिक्स हैज बीन कट थ्री टू ज सिक्स सो हियर इट इज रिमेनिंग टू सो विल गेट इट नाइन बाय टू इंटू पी इन टू पी विल बी पी स्क्वेर माइनस इन टू माइनस विल बी प्लस हियर ऑल्सो इट इज सिक्स सो अगेन इट विल कट बाय वन सो इट इज थ्री इंटू वन विल बी इक्वल टू दिस इज थ्री इंटू वन दैट विल गेट इट I think you are getting confused somewhere, so I will show the expanded form first, and then we'll go to this. Otherwise, you will get confused here. First of all, for this, I will write the simplified form as this will be. You can see as we can cut it here, three two is a six, so this three will be cut. So here, what is remaining? This term will be as usual. Here, it will remain three into p as it is, and this is two as three three cut, so three by two. And this is three p minus one upon six. Now let us check it again. I thought that students are getting confused. That's why I have shown because this entire thing has to multiply along with this. This entire thing has to multiply with this. So students get confused. So first of all, I have simplified this as this three into three p into one. So it would be three three is a nine p. But here six two is a sorry three two is a six. So three cut. Three two is a six, so the remaining is three by two into p into three p minus one upon six. Now let us check it. This is as usual, okay? This is just for the explanation. You need not to write it. Let us check it. This minus into plus is minus three three is a nine, okay? In the denominator, nothing is there, so it is two p into p is a p square. Now let us go for here. This is minus into minus is turns to plus. This is This will be. I am going to multiply this, and I'll write it here. That is three by two into p, along with this plus sign. Minus into minus will turns to plus. Will be multiplied by one upon six. I hope you will not get confused here. Now, as I have shown this thing, so you will see that here it is three by two into p, and here it is one upon six. Here again it will cut. Three two is a six, so here nothing is remaining, so it is one, and two two is a four will be there in the denominator, and this p will be there as it is. I hope you understand how we got it. That is three cube twenty seven p cube as it is one upon six cube will be one upon two one six. Here we got it that this term we have simplified this minus into plus will be converted to minus three three is a nine. Upon two into p, p into p is a p square, and here we did this term has been multiplied along with this minus into minus will turns to plus, so we have kept it, and when we cut it, that is three two is a six, so this is two, remaining is p into one, so we'll write it one upon two two is a four into p. So now I hope you got that how we have got this particular term by writing this format in this way that is x cube minus y cube this is x cube minus y cube minus 3 into first term into second term so x into y and this is x minus y so we know 
the formula for this expanded form is first term that is x minus y whole cube so x is this one that is 3p minus 1 upon 6 whole cube if you want to write it in the other way then we can write it that is 3p minus 1 upon 6 into another bracket 3p minus 1 upon 6 into 3p minus 1 upon 6 as it is cube so we can write it in three times so this is how you can do the factorization of the given expanded form with the formula x minus y whole cube is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3 into x into y into another bracket x minus y i hope you understand this sum as i am trying to show it with very simple format so i hope you have understood click on the like button if you like this video and share with your friends in next video we will see further more details thank you so much